This is Jennifer at Beyond 20, and today we're going to be talking about an out-of-the-box issue with approvals in ShareWell. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the actual approved by field. Now, the way this is configured out of the box is to record a value upon save when the state changes. So when an approval record moves to approved, denied, or abstained, the system is going to automatically record the current user display name. Now, this functionality works as designed if you approve a record within the technician tool. If you go to the form itself and you actually click approve, deny, or abstain, the system is going to record who actually approved that record. So in this case, I'm logged in as Andrew, and it shows that it was approved by Andrew. Now, the problem occurs when you're approving a record through email. Because the email monitor is processing that record, it automatically is going to set that value to the system, which is ShareWell Admin. So I'm going to first demonstrate how this is set up out of the box and then how I've configured a workaround to fix this issue. So I'm going to go to email and I've got some approvals pending for the record in the blue client. And the first one I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go ahead and say deny. And this is the out of the box functionality. And then I'm going to come to the next approval and I'm going to say approve. And this is where I have modified how ShareWell is behaving. I'm going to come back here and we're going to wait for the record to update. So you're going to see that the email system has gone ahead and updated the records and we have denied and approved. So I'm going to take a look first at the denied record. And again, this is the out of the box functionality and you'll see it's showing denied by ShareWell admin because it was processed by the monitor. Now, if I go back and look at the approved record, here you're going to see it was approved by Jennifer Collins and that's the email account that I sent the email from. But as you remember, I sent both emails from the same system. So now I'm going to show you why approvals are working a little bit different than denied. So we're going to go into the orange client and first I'm going to open up a blueprint and we're going to go to the approval object and edit that business object. We're going to go down to the actual approved by field and look at the field properties. So under state you have value to set before state change changes based on life cycle. And if we look at abstained, this is how it's configured out of the box. Same thing for denied. It will set current user display name. And this is going to happen even if you are recording actual approved by through the email monitor, the system is automatically going to overwrite it with this function. So now let me show you what I did on approved. Instead of using the function, I'm using an expression. I'm going to show you that expression, which is a case expression. And the first case says, if actual approved by is empty, then use current user display name. Otherwise, use the value in the field. So I'm going to cancel out of this. Close the blueprint. And I'm going to show you the second step for resolving this. And that's going to be in the email monitor itself. So we go to the monitor. I'm going to show you what the denied field looks like and why this is not working. So this is the second step. You need to actually come in here and you'll see out of the box the system is not configured to record actual approved by. To resolve that, you want to come down into this template, click the drop down, and you're going to see a bunch of fields from the email message that comes in. Choose the from just name and then you want to save that record. And I'll show you that's how I have it set up already on approved. That's what I'm recording. So it's a two-step fix. You need to set the monitors to actually record that information as it comes into the system. And then the second step is going into a blueprint and modifying that value to set before, stay, before save on a state change 
so that you're using a case expression. If the value is populated, use the value. If not, then use current user display name. And that's all for today. Thank <music> you.